For today's Daily Dose, I'm going to answer a question that I'm often asked this time of year. Should Christians participate in Halloween? Well, first of all, let me just say I love this time of year. The weather's changing. Yes, the cool weather has finally arrived here in Arizona. But this time of year is also, it's also when we run into a celebration that's always surprised me. It's also frustrated me. It's called Halloween. My question is, why are, why are people so excited to celebrate death? Why do people elevate and want to associate with darkness and with witchcraft? Is this healthy? Is this wise? Does this honor God? So let's spend a few minutes here discussing Halloween from a Christian and a biblical perspective. I'd like to start out by checking out where did Halloween come from anyway? so that we have a good understanding of what people are really choosing to associate with. Now, I've done research and nearly every resource that, that I have researched agrees that the origins of Halloween, the purpose, the DNA, even really the controlling spirit of Halloween is pagan Celtic religious festivals, practices, and yes, worship. See, at the core of Halloween is an attempt to appease demons. I know it sounds dramatic, but it's true. At the core of Halloween is an attempt to appease demons who were trying to trick or treat people into darkness. Let's not gloss over this. Again, the main purpose of Halloween is to appease demons. Well, in the 4th century, the church wanted to try and redeem this pagan festival. So what happened? Christians adopted a practice of remembering the lives of faithful saints, and they called it All Hallows' Eve. And this is where we get the title Halloween. But here's the problem. Instead of redeeming this holiday, they simply synergized or they combined practices and in reality kept most of the pagan rituals in focus. I mean, just look around. It remains this way today. The main focus of Halloween is not to honor faithful Jesus followers who've gone before us. No, the focus of Halloween is on trick-or-treat. It's on darkness and witchcraft. So what does the Bible have to say about mixing darkness and light? Well, 1 Corinthians 10.21 says this. It says, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. You cannot have a part in both the Lord's table and the table of demons. And then, of course, we understand Ephesians 5.11. It tells us, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. God's Word is clear on this matter. Like it or not, Halloween, it's steeped in witchcraft and demonic paganism. Again, look around. It's easy to see it in our culture all around right now today. In fact, check this out. The leader of the Satanic Church, Anton LaVey, actually thanks parents for sending their kids out to engage in Halloween activities. And so... Is this something Christians should have anything to do with? Or should we steer clear of it? Well, if we're not allowing culture to call the shots or to pressure us, then we would answer, of course we shouldn't be anywhere close to this kind of stuff. Again, Scripture tells us, don't even have the appearance of evil. That's 1 Peter 5.8. Let alone celebrate it find entertainment in it, and then to use our financial resources that God's given us to promote it or to support it. By the way, Hollywood is shoving this kind of garbage, this witchcraft and occult stuff at us as well. Not just on October 31st, but all year round. You know, one of the biggest evangelists of witchcraft is Disney. Disney! <laughs> They've promoted witchcraft for decades, but now they're so emboldened that this year they came out with a series titled Little Demons. Check this out. This series glorifies Satan. It makes the Antichrist out to be a hero, and it normalizes paganism. Parents, I want you to think twice before turning your kids on to Disney, before being a Disney family. Look, we're entrusted by God to train our children in the way they should go. And I just don't think that Disney... Or Halloween fit into this charge from God. 
Look, I've even seen young people who've grown up in the church then overcome with demonic torment as they, as they spent their childhood feeding on and consuming this kind of stuff. I urge you, don't mess with this pagan demonic stuff. It's offensive to the Lord, and it's spiritually dangerous. It's no joke. It's not innocent fun. It's darkness and death. It's everything Jesus went to the cross to pull us out of. 2 Corinthians 6.17 reminds us and directs us, Therefore, come out from them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you. Now, as a family... Here's how we handle it. We, we just don't participate in Halloween at any level. We don't trick or treat. We don't even hand out candy. We don't dress up. We don't give any of that stuff the time of day or night, literally. And, but look, at I'm not wanting to make a mountain out of a molehill with this. As you can tell, I do have strong opinions. I have strong conviction that this whole Halloween thing is no small thing. It's serious. But I'm also not trying to bring condemnation. We all have our history. We've all grown up certain ways. But, but instead, instead of condemnation, I want to bring freedom. In fact, here's my challenge. Here's my challenge. As everyone else is celebrating death, how about we use this season to talk about life, to share the new life that's found in Christ alone? Let's share the message that everyone in this world needs to hear, and that's the gospel of Jesus. Let's shine the light of Christ into the darkness. What would Jesus do with all of this? Well, we don't have to wonder. What did Jesus do when faced with darkness? He came down, he stepped down from heaven, and he came into this dark world. Why? To celebrate death? No. Jesus came to free us from darkness and death and to bring life. Jesus says, I've come that they might have life, and that to the full, as it says in John 10.10. And then remember what it says in John 1.5. It says, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Amen.